4.1 Theme 4 Science and Nature Lesson 4.1 Vocabulary for Listening Tables, Graphs, Experiments Exercise A1 Listen Add the information to the table and the graph Add the word London to the first column of the table Write the data for London in the table. You can get it from the graph. Write one number in each block. Add the missing months to the graph. Write them on the horizontal axis. Now, write the missing temperatures on the vertical axis. Add the data for Abu Dhabi to the graph and draw the line. Four point two exercise A two. Listen and answer the questions. A. What do the table and the graph compare? B. Which one displays the information more clearly? Why? C. What does the dotted line in the graph represent? D. What is another way you can display results in a graph? E. Why is it useful to organise information in this way? F. Which websites are useful for research about average temperatures? 4.2 Exercise B Listen Tick the correct column to show the stressed syllable. 1. Average 2. Axis 3. Circle 4. Column 5. Compare 6. Data 7. Display. 8. Research. 9. Result. 10. Table. 4.4. 4. Exercise C. Listen. Complete the text with words from the list on the right. Science is the study of how things work in the world. A scientist usually works in a laboratory. He or she works with many different kinds of materials, for example, plastic or metal and liquids. A scientist tests things to prove a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an idea that something is true. Scientists must collect all the facts first. Then he or she often puts the facts in a table with columns of information or in a graph with blocks or lines that represent the information. 4.5 Lesson 4.2 Real-time listening Scientists and the Scientific Method Exercise A2 Listen to the introduction and answer the first two questions. This week on So You Want To Be, we are looking at the job of a scientist. What is science? What do scientists do? And, possibly the most important question of all, is science the right career for you? First, what is science? Science is the study of how things work in the world. The word science comes from Greek and Latin words, meaning to know. What do scientists do? Well, scientists are not satisfied just to think something is true. They must prove it. Proving means showing that something is always true. In this way, scientists are different from other people. 
Let me show you the difference. I know that plants need sunlight and water to live. At least, I think that's true. But thinking is not enough for a scientist. If a scientist thinks something is true, he or she wants to prove it. Four point six, exercise B. Listen and complete the notes below about the scientific method. How exactly can scientists prove that something is true? They must follow the scientific method. A method is a way of doing something, but what is the scientific method? It works like this. Firstly, a scientist makes a hypothesis. Which means an idea of the truth. Then he or she tests the hypothesis. Scientists can test a hypothesis in two main ways. They can do an experiment, which means a test in a laboratory. Scientists study what happens during the experiment, or they can do research, which means looking up information. They usually do research in a library, or nowadays on the internet. With research, scientists look at what happened in the past. In both cases, experiments and research, they collect data. Data is information before it is organized. Then they display the results in a table or graph. They draw conclusions. Conclusions are what you learn from an experiment. The hypothesis is proved or disproved. Does this sound interesting to you? Is science the right career for you? Four point seven, lesson four point three, learning new listening skills, predicting the next word. Exercise B two. Listen to some of Arthur's sentences from the radio program. Number a word in the table in exercise A each time Arthur pauses. One. Science is the study of how things work in the. Two. The word science comes from Greek and Latin words meaning to. Three. Scientists must prove that something is. Four. They must follow the scientific. Five. Scientists must collect. Six. They display the results in a table or. Four point eight. Exercise C one. Listen and predict the next word. I made a. Plants need things to help them. I think they need sunlight and. I bought three. I tested the. I put one plant in a cupboard so it did not get any. The plant went. The second plant did not get any. The plant. I put the plant in. I gave it. It grew. It did not go. I proved my. Four point nine, exercise C two. Listen to the complete talk. Check your ideas. I made a hypothesis. Plants need things to help them grow. I think they need sunlight and water. I bought three plants. I tested the hypothesis. I put one plant in a cupboard 
so it did not get any sunlight. The plant went yellow. The second plant did not get any water. The plant died. I put the third plant in sunlight. I gave it water. It grew well. It did not go yellow. I proved my hypothesis. Four point ten. Exercise D. Listen and copy each word from Arthur's talk into the correct column. That. The. They. Both. Then. There. With. Hypothesis. Thing. Truth. Four point eleven. Exercise E one. Listen. Which is the odd one out? Test. When. Then. Pen. She. Bed. Many. Any. Head. Again. Four point twelve, lesson four point three, grammar for listening, articles, introduction phrases. Exercise B, listen and check your answers. Firstly, a scientist makes a hypothesis, which means an idea of the truth. Then he or she tests the hypothesis. Scientists can test a hypothesis in two main ways. They can do an experiment, which means a test in a laboratory. Scientists study what happens during an experiment, or they can do research, which means looking up information. They usually do research in a library or nowadays on the internet. Four point thirteen. Exercise C. Listen and check your ideas. One. I know that plants need water. Two. I think that sugar damages teeth. Three. I don't believe that the research is finished. Four. It means that we don't have enough data. Five. It proves that the hypothesis is correct. Six. The graph shows us that the average temperature in summer is seventeen degrees. Seven. Scientists have proved that seawater temperatures are getting warmer. Four point fourteen, lesson four point five, applying new listening skills, proving a hypothesis: drinks can damage your teeth. Exercise B, listen, put these groups of words in the correct order. Remember, my hypothesis is that cola and other sugary drinks damage your teeth. The experiment. I bought four types of drink: cola, fruit drink, fresh fruit juice, and water. I also brought in some clean eggshells. Why eggshells? Because they are made of similar material to human teeth.
4.15, exercise C1. Listen to the student describing the experiment. When she stops speaking, tick the correct word from each pair of words below. Remember, my hypothesis is that cola and other sugary drinks damage your teeth. The experiment. I bought four types of drink. Cola, fruit drink, fresh fruit juice and water. I also brought in some clean eggshells. Why eggshells? Because they are made of similar material to human teeth. I put each drink into a different glass. I made a small hole in each shell with a pin. I tied each piece of eggshell onto a piece of thread. Then I hung each piece of thread so that the eggshell was in the liquid. I left the four glasses of liquid for one week. After one week, I compared the pieces of egg shell. The eggshells from the glasses of cola and fruit drink were very soft. The eggshells from the glasses of fruit juice and water were not damaged. My conclusion is, cola and fruit drinks damage your teeth.